Welcome to 7 Trumpets Prepper, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how to make a portable or fixed solar mount array off of an old DirecTV or DISH satellite mount. Now, you want to get rid of your satellite portion and just save your mount. Now, the great thing about this is, is there's a lot of great companies out there that make a lot of great products, um, especially when it comes to alternative energy. Some of that's very expensive, and as most of us preppers live paycheck to paycheck, such as myself, we want to try to make our best quality equipment ourselves whenever possible. Now the opportunity is here. Um, in this video today, I'm going to show you a very quick way to get you a great solar amount for at least a 100 watt panel. Now you could double this up, but I probably wouldn't go more than two panels based on size and the wind load up on this. You can uh, fix this uh, portable mount into place, and if you're making a fixed mount, then you're in really good shape anyway. Now I would encourage you to build this project and also the project that we've got coming up, a, so, a solar generator that we've got that's portable. With these two things coupled together, you have alternative energy anywhere you go. So with that said, let's take a look at this video and get started with this build now. Okay, now we're at the point where that we're gonna paint this panel. Uh, I'm gonna tape it off here in just a second and put paper over this and leave nothing but just the very edge so that the uh, metal right here can be painted OD green because I'm going to paint this panel olive drab to match the tripod mount outside that is also going to be olive drab. And what I wanted to go over with you real quick about this panel is, is this is a 100 watt panel. Um, this is from Renogy and the uh, panel itself is rated for 100 watts. Um, it's got the MC4 cables on the back. I'll show you here in just a second. This thing will withstand um, a lot of wind pressure and snow loads. Um, the thing is a high quality panel and not only that, it's got a warranty for quite an extensive amount of time for five years, it's 95%, 10 year, 90%, 25 year, 80%. Um, over a five year uh, course of time, it's got a material workmanship warranty. So I mean, there is a, a great benefit to owning this panel and it is a monocrystalline panel. And I'll put the, uh, a link to this online. Um, where that you can some resources where you can pick this particular panel up because the dimensions that I'm using for the build outside that we'll go over more extensive here in just a minute is uh, based up off this panel but you can modify it to uh, any size you want like I said earlier now on the back MC4 cables I'm going to paint this also I'm going to tape off just where the important labels is and everything now I don't know how that will affect a warranty um, you know if you're wanting to keep your warranty on your panel that might I don't know if that'll be an issue or not but I'm gonna paint it uh, olive drab anyway so I'm gonna tape this off I'll show you how it looks right before we paint it uh, taped up and then we'll throw the paint coat on it and carry on okay so now I've got my MC4 cables protected this taped off um, our specs stuff taped off and then I've got the panel I've got tape across this here and then uh, paper in between that there to guide this and protect it and we're going to paint the rails and all this and we'll show you how it looks here in just a moment okay now the first thing that you're going to do when building your own custom solar array out of an old uh, satellite dish mount is that you're going to remove the satellite dish from its bracket what you do is you'll just go and take your if this was still mounted on there just got to visualize for a minute that would still be mounted like that. Now I have a portable mount. You may have a fixed mount. All you do is undo those bolts on the back and get rid of that. Now, at this point, you have this gray elevation marker. So that way, if you uh, live higher up in the northern hemisphere, you can set it the elevation that you need for your solar panels. If you're in the southern hemisphere, you can do likewise. So that's a great thing. You already have a marked off elevation angle on this satellite mount. Now what I've done is usually I take you step by step by step. What I've done is went ahead and pre-cut this for the size of the Renogy panel. 
Now, it, depending on what panel you get, you might want to adjust it out. But all you do is all the hardware, everything used, all the bolts are 5 16 okay? And they're an inch and a half long because I used square tubing, okay? So here we go. We're going to start count, counting off the measurements. The first one, you're going to cut you a piece of inch tubing two times. You're going to cut these for right here and right here. That's the take and go where you just took your satellite mount off. You're going to cut two of those 17 and a half inches long. And right out here, you're going to come over from the edge about a quarter of an inch and you're going to drill through. You can make sure and adjust your other pieces that I'm about to give you the measurements for them. And you can drill through those and that's where you'll put two bolts here and two bolts here and you've got four in your center. Okay. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to cut two pieces 33 inches long. Okay. Now what that'll do is that'll give you the structural support for the length of that uh, panel that's drying right now painting. Now what I've done right here is I took some brackets that were off of a lighting kit that goes on a class 8 over the road truck but all you need to do is get you some uh, two inch angle iron and cut you a piece uh, that's about let's see these are one and a half about one and a half inches long so you need a piece about six inches long and cut that and then cut off uh, one inch of the ear on one side and drill that through okay and so you'll have those at the very ends of your mount. And then that's it. All that's left to do is what I'm about to show you here in just a moment is drill through on the panel very carefully and then mount it to these four ears. And then all that's left is to take and set this out wherever you want, adjust your elevation and then plug your MC4 cables into either your own portable power generate solar generator that I'm going to show you how to build in another video or plug it straight into your house to your backup power that you already have or your RV or whatever. This is a very useful thing to have. Now if you have a fixed mount, then obviously you're going to have that mounted running uh, straight into your house. But that's all there is to it. So let's go back and check out the panel, make sure it's dried good. Then I'm going to throw some paint on this and then we'll drill it out and mount it permanent. Okay now at this point we've got our mount painted now. Um, just got to touch up a few little places here and there and that's got it finished. So what we'll do now is here in just a second I'm going to pull the paper off of this panel and I'm going to take and mark off the four places we need to drill out and I'll show you how to drill into a panel frame and modify it uh, carefully so you don't damage your module and then from there we'll bolt it up and this part will be pretty much finished okay now at this portion we've got both pieces painted and what I've done now is I've got some machine screws that are very short. When these are put into place, there's a huge gap in between this and the panel. So we don't have to worry about that. And I've got washers that are number 10 washers, and that's what these are, number 10 machine screws. So that will hold that to the mount. Now, as far as putting you a barrier in between your panel itself so that you don't damage anything, if you're really skilled, you can do this without having to put something in between there but my advice is to put a small block of wood in between so that you don't run into your panel because there's no sense in wasting a $200 panel if at all possible uh, over some foolishness so what we're going to do now is I'm going to drill that out for the screws and then I'll show you how that looks and then we'll get it mounted up on the mount so here we go here is the painted OD green panel and tripod and now what we have here is the mounting hardware we've gotten it into place and now you will have to go back and touch up paint on some things but we've got a washer with the number 10 machine screw then a washer on the back and then the nut and now what's important is to remember is based on where you live you'll need to adjust your elevation and if you're traveling since I made a portable one you'll want to make sure to adjust your elevation to where you're at if you're portable all the time and here's the important thing is to make sure that you are level sorry I've got my porch is a little off today apparently but um, when I was in the house a minute ago that thing was right on the money panel itself and the tripod are setting level and you might want to make just a few final adjustments on that but otherwise once you're finished with it and everything the panel should set 
on the mount pretty comfortably and the brackets on it uh, mount up right at the edge and be very flush and pretty much you've got it knocked out at that point and just make sure that your angles are adjusted properly and that your pole mount if it is a portable one that you have got that tightened into your frame because you don't want the wind coming around starting rotating it around and the next thing you know you've yanked your pole out of the mount with the wind so guys just remember although you can see these laying around everywhere and they're on the tops of houses and in the backs of yards these things may be junk to some people but used in the right application they're a treasure now we're going to make sure and do a solar generator build coming up here very soon and now whenever that's posted there'll be a link right there at the bottom of the video description and a link right here on the screen now this Couple with that, as I said in the beginning, is a wonderful application to take with you as portable power. You could throw this in the back of a vehicle and have it anywhere you need it. So we hope you enjoyed this build, and I hope it's been a blessing to you. And until we see you again here at Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel, we hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.